my name is Alyssa um, in today's video I am going to show you how I made how I crocheted the perfect perfect crochet patchwork cardigan yes today we are making a patchwork cardigan um, I'm not gonna say I'm a pro at patchwork cardigans but I kind of am like I made my first one in 2020 and if you guys want to see my first ever patchwork cardigan I made back in 2020 make sure you stay tuned because soon I'll be posting it everything I crocheted slash knitted in ever actually not in whatever year ever because I think it I need to do that for the culture I need to do it for the culture <laughs> I'm going to show you guys how to make a patchwork cardigan I made one in 2020 and then I did another one in 2021 so I like mastered the craft this one I worked in 2022 slash 2023 which is the current year i don't know did you guys know it's 2023 i don't know maybe somebody somebody maybe somebody didn't know i don't know maybe you just woke out of a coma and um this is the first thing you do is some for some whatever reason you watch this video i don't know <laughs> but yeah um yeah if you guys want to figure out how i crocheted this patchwork cardigan stay tuned um yeah let's get on to the video shall we Okay, so I made this graph slash design, I guess you would say, of the um, cardigan. I really suggest you make one. You don't have to do it digitally. You can um, just get a piece of paper and like use color pencils. But yeah, here is mine. So you can either use this and just replace it with different colors or whatever. But yeah. Big bag. Big yarn bag. There's seven balls of yarn in there. I paid almost $50 for seven balls of yarn. Not 50, but close enough. Close to $50 for seven balls of yarn. Um, if you guys wanna help out, you know, the tip, the thanks tip is open. And my cash app could be here if you wanna help me out. Even a dollar would help. Because art supplies are going. Anyways, got the yarn. Um, Let's get into all the things you'll need for this project because I feel like that's more important. Let's get into it. Okay, so for materials, you need a crochet hook, some scissors, a sewing needle, three different colors of yarn. I'm using a light green, dark army green, and this light gray. I actually didn't end up using one ball, so I overbought, but oh well. So first I started with the light green yarn. It doesn't matter what color you start with, but I made a slip knot and then I chained 20. So after I chained that 20, I chained an additional stitch. You're not going to go into that one though. You don't go into that one. You go into the next one, and then I begin to single crochet for that entire row. Wow, look at that. One row down, many, 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 many more to go. Okay, so after that single crochet row, I chain two. You don't go into those two chains. Those are just to help level out the, yeah. You understand. I hope you do because I don't know how to explain it. Then with this row, I double crochet the whole row. That's literally it. You're just going to single crochet, double crochet. Yeah. And just like that, row two is done. And then, you guessed it, after that double crochet row, we are going to single crochet. And you're going to continue that pattern until you reach 13 rows. So there should be 7 single crochet rows and 6 double crochet rows. And this is how the square should look. Um, yeah, one down, I think like... 45 more to go i did a calculator so yeah minus this one yeah but here is a little pattern for the square just in case you didn't understand for whatever reason and i did 17 light green 16 dark green and 13 light gray 
Okay, now we're going to do the decrease squares. And um, I really suggest screenshotting this because this part I did not really go into super detail, which you would think I would. But for whatever reason, I didn't. But I, but I decided to do a quick little how to decrease tutorial just in case you didn't know how to. So you can know how to decrease. So you can follow that pattern. But um, yeah, so once I reach the last three, I just regularly double crochet that first one. I don't know why I put that in, I just thought I would. Okay, then for the last two, I went through both of their front loops at the same time. So it should be four on your crochet hook. Then I went through those first two. Then I went through those first two. Then I went through those first two. And that's how you decrease. And then after I decrease, like the graph says, and that's how you're going to make the diagonal shape of the, yeah, <laughs> the piece. But then after that, I single crochet and then double crocheted. The same like all the other squares. But you're decreasing at the end of the row at least where the rows it says to decrease i made sure to make it as detailed as possible so you guys can understand because yeah i'm still working on my tutorial skills but yeah here's how to decrease one more time just in case you didn't get it um those for those last two go through both of their front loops that one then that one first two loops are on there you go through those first two. Oh, oh girl okay there we go and then you go through those first two and then you go through those last two and that's how you get to decrease and you only decrease where it says please screenshot that and here's how you do the top one also screenshot this i really am so mad at myself but yeah here's how you start the row i chained 15 because you should have 15 left on that first square right here and i just did you know my single crochet row And I made sure to make sure they line up because I didn't want to make the whole thing and then be like, wait, it's too big or too small. So make sure you do that, besties. And then I began to double crochet. Oh my God, I almost forgot what I was supposed to say. Okay, and the decrease is the same for this too, this project. I mean, this piece too. Um, you know, save those last two, go through the front loopies of those last, very last two stitches right there. Should be four on your crochet hook. Um, loop through that one. Loop through that one. Oh my God, do it, Alyssa. Okay, then loop through that one. Those two, I mean. And yeah, there should be 12 stitches left. Again, please use this. Screenshot this. I apologize. I'm working on my um, tutorial skills because they're very lacking. But yeah, I'm going to show you how to decrease in the beginning for your left side. Like I said, this is the right side. to go. So these two go on the right sides panel. Here's a quick tutorial on how to decrease in the beginning of the row. I chain, I chain two and then after I chain two i went through both of the stitches front loops just the front loopies and went through those two went through those two and went through those two and that's literally it and you follow the pattern i showed before so yeah please use that screenshot then it. after i did all my squares i began to make the ribbing by chaining by chaining 10 and then single crocheting back loop through the back loop and I did the cuffs for eight inches each, each for eight inches. And the big long boy was 48 inches. So yeah, he's pretty big, but it gets done pretty fast. And now I'm going to sew the first column together, which you can refer to your um, pattern slash design picture. Hopefully you made one. So, so the sewing part is like really easy. Like it's like extremely easy, but I'm gonna show you anyways, just in case you want to Cause I'm gonna show you how to sew good, bestie. Like, you're not gonna be able to see the seams here. Okay, so first I thread um, the needle. I'm using the bottom colors of whatever the bottom square is. That's the color of the thread. So I'm using dark green, for example. So going into the front loop, since it's on its backside, I'm going to the front loop, and then on the top square, which is the light green one, whatever, which one you're starting with. I'm going through that top, it's like a top little, not the bottom little loop down there. I don't know if you can see it. Trust me, I'm going to zoom in. That top one, wait, wait, you see her? Yeah, right there. That's the one you're going to go through because you don't want 
the um seem to be seen seem equals not seen here okay but i think i do zoom in better like so you can kind of see what i'm doing here and as you can see look at that like you can't even tell like you can't even see the seam but yeah i'm 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 trying to work on my tutorial skills like it, um I'm already bad at explaining things, but I want to help people. It's, it's a hard out here. It's a hard. Like, you want to help people, but you can't explain things. Ah. But anyways, I'm going to, after you do that, after I did that, I'm going to weave in the ends. Make sure you weave in your ends. I didn't really weave in that first one. I should have weaved it in, but I didn't. I'm a bad girl, I guess you could say. After I weaved it in, cut it. And you have your first two together. You're just going to do this many, many more times. But yeah, look how beautiful that looks. Like, it looks seamless. Like, look at that. Like, ah, like oh my god. That looks gorgeous. Look how gorgeous that looks. Oh, it's, it's going to look so good. I can't wait for you guys to see the end result. It looks so good. But, oh, wow. Wh what was that? Okay. But yeah, the first column's done. Many more to go. So now I'm going to show you how to sew the columns together. Oh my god. Why am I cutting so much? Gonna... So I laid both of the panels on their fronts. And and start sewing by going through the front loops so when you turn it back on its front or the outside i should say the the thread will not be visible which is the goal obviously but yeah make sure you weave in your thread okay because you don't want it come up because you don't want it to become undone so yeah as you can see i am going through the front loops and the front it's not visible especially if you use the tip is to really use like yarn that matches at least one of the squares. I didn't do it here, but I trust my sewing enough where it's like it's not going to be that visible. Then I did the two front panels, the back, and both sleeves. Now let's sew this all together, shall we? Let's go. So first thing I'm going to do is sew the cuffs to the sleeve panels. I separate the cuff into three sections. So that section, one section, the middle section, middle section, and that end section, that end section. You get it? So that's what I kind of did. Um, you kind of, you will have to go into the same spot on the cuffs a few times. Like, you know, because you only have so much to work with. But, um, yeah. And there she is. Oh, look how beautiful. That's one sleeve. And obviously, I did the same thing to the other one. And now, we have two sleeves. We have two sleeves. Okay, I'm done. Then I sewed the front and back. The front panels and the back together. And for this, I did kind of the same thing I did with the columns. And that is just sewing through the back or front loops in this case since it's inside out um the front loops together so it can look seamless and clean and that's one panel done oh look how proud i look wow oh okay now let's do the next one and same thing i mean i really don't know what to say i'm just like talking just because i want to talk i was listening to music i wonder what i was listening to i can't remember i think it was bjork maybe or is it joji Ooh, i don't remember i don't remember mm. bam look at that okay girly okay we're almost there okay but we need to sew on the sleeves and oh my god oh my butt is all up <sighs> my butt is all up in the camera now for the sleeves, I attached it to where the middle meet, like the each panel's meet, like that middle spot right here. That's where I put the middle spot of the um, sleeves. And then from there, I pinned those together. So it was like halfway down the second one, I guess. You can kind of see here. See, look, like that's the that's where I attached the panels together. That middle spot right there. And then, yeah. <laughs> and then from there, I sewed the pin. I mean, I pinned, not sewed. I pinned those two. So it's like halfway down the second square oh
and that's one sleeve down i don't know about you guys but i like my cardigans with two sleeves so let's do the other sleeve shall we boosh there's the other sleeve look at that ah oop uh, this is awkward um let's sew those together okay so i sewed them together it's all sewed up now and look at her she looks so cute don't worry we're gonna sew on that bottom ribbing we're gonna sew it on oh go go but like yeah look at her she's so cute like i love her like the last one i made was a little too big but like this one like mwah, she's perfect like purr okay let's sew on that bottom ribbing shall we i pinned the ribbing to the um cardigan and then literally sewed and then like flapped it down if that makes sense but yeah <laughs> One of the few final steps is to make the collar slash where the buttons will go. Um, I began by double crocheting the whole round. So starting from the, I started on the left side, the left panel, like the left side of the um, cardigan and I went all the way around to the right. You're going to need to do that. Trust me. So um, after I did that row, um, so like my crochet hook should be on the right side. But before we do the next row, I measured out where I want to place the buttons. And I did it about two inches apart from each other. But you can obviously put more, put less. It depends what buttons you're using. But that's what I did. Now that I know where my buttonhole should be, I begin to single crochet this second row. And I'm single crocheting until I reach that first pin. Okay, now that I have reached the pin, I'm going to chain two. Make sure you do not make them too tight because I made this mistake because you will need to go into those chains. So make sure they're like not too tight. Okay, so that after you chain those two, th you're going to skip two stitches. So those two I'm skipping and I'm going into the third stitch. And there is your buttonhole. Easy as that. Literally easy. At Wait, let me move this pin out the way before I stab myself. But yeah, look at that buttonhole. Wow. Oh, wrong hole, girl. But yeah, I'm going to show you one more time. Okay, once I reach that pin, right there. So those two I'm going to skip, but first I'm going to chain two. Don't do them too tight like I just did. <laughs> but um, yeah, skipping those two. Now going to go into those. And I'm going into that third one, and there is the buttonhole. And you're going to keep doing that for each pin you have, and then you have all your buttonholes. Easy like that. Yeah, I just begin to single crochet the rest of the round. And then after I single crochet that... I double crocheted and that's it. After I did my three rows for the collar and sewed on the buttons, the cardigan is done. Look at that. She is so cute. OMG. She came out so cute. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so I did put the cardigan in the washer and dryer. Um, obviously, that's an optional step, but like, yeah, I. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Let me see if I can back you guys up a bit. I can be the feel boom, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Say hi, Raven. Oh. Um, yeah, the Cardi is done. Um, she came out so cute love how she came out um she came out gorgeous um slay boots the house i'm deceased um yeah this tutorial was kind of not lackluster but this t the t t t the tutorial was kind of like yeah um i don't know what to say i had coca-cola i had a cock coke Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully found it useful. I don't know, maybe it I don't know, it entertained you. That's that'd be good if it entertained you. Um, but if it did, make sure you guys like the video. It stay safe, stay creative, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Alyssa out this B-word.